a look at the so-called pink tax. It's the extra amount women are charged for products compared to men. Becky Worley is back with the story. Hey, Becky. Good morning, Michael. What if you and I went to a fast food restaurant and you paid $4 for a burger and I had to pay $7 for the same burger? Well, according to a new study of moisturizers, that's pretty much what's happening when it comes to our skin care. Moisturizer. It's every dermatologist's most basic recommendation for healthy, youthful skin. Everyone needs it. And a trip to your local drugstore has whole rows of the stuff, some marketed for men and others for women. So what's the difference? Well, it turns out the main difference may simply be price. A study published in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology compared prices of 110 facial moisturizing products from three top online retailers, Amazon, Target, and Walmart. They found that on average, facial moisturizers marketed to women were $3.09 more per ounce than those marketed to men. More than $3 an ounce? The study was conducted by the Dermatology Department at Massachusetts General Hospital on products purchased in October of 2018. With the personal care product industry, it is just accepted and normative, apparently, that women are just expected to pay more. So this product right here is a typical one marketed to women, probably somewhere in the $30 range, uh, whereas this um, same amount of ounces marketed to men, probably somewhere in the $10, $12 range. Dr. Senna notes there are some differences in the products, mostly how they smell and packaging. And a comparison of this moisturizer from the same manufacturer shows that of 36 ingredients, 16 were exactly the same. But the women's product cost $10 more per ounce. We looked at color, so pinks, reds for women as opposed to black, gray, navy for men, hard edges on bottles for men. Unless there's more value in something that's being provided to women at a higher cost, I just think that it's, it's not fair practice and something that needs to change. So should women just buy men's products? I have a men's lotion here. Smells crisp, kind of spicy, maybe a little manly for me. So Dr. Senna said a good tip is to look for unscented, gender-neutral products. These are on average $4 per ounce cheaper than those marketed to women, Michael. All right, Becky, I, I love when people find out how to save money on things that they're pay, overpaying mm. for. And as I was saying to Robin during the piece, you charge women more for these products, but you pay them less for the same Thank work. Thank you very much. That's Thank why you. I, I don't Thank quite you. understand it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.